You're saying female president of YouTube. Uh, um, um, just huh? she's a fucking cow. Um, she was doing an interview. I think it was a while ago actually, and um, she was on about like when people when people are talking. I interrupt them and, and and they thank me for it and they go like, oh, thank you for correcting me and all that. It's like, shut no, up. Number no. one, shut up. That probably never even happened. But number two, it's like, oh, really? When the when the CEO who can sack you interrupts you, they thank you for it? Well, clearly that's because you're so smart and know what you're talking about and not because you're in a position of power. I'm sure if a cashier, you know, someone stacking shelves for fucking eight pounds an hour, or to just interrupt people left and right, I'm sure that you'd thank them as well and be like, "Oh wow, yeah, you're no shut up." It's it's a, it's, it's easy, easy to do when you're like like you say a CEO of a company. Ah, when you're the boss, you can speak to people. Oh, but yeah, I don't know. No, I was like, nah, but she's a fucking cow. Yeah, I'm, I'm inclined to agree with you. The problem is that behaviour is becoming more and more prevalent. Like I think in, in modern society, I'm people, a boss, bitch. Well, I right, people see it as the way to compete. It's like, oh, it's the man, you know, this is where the men have made it. It's like, no, no, but plenty, plenty of male organisations that, you know, are, are high progressive, but also realise the need for, um... Knowing where you are, bitch, yeah. Yeah, political sensitivity, and, and like, you know, being open to criticism oh. and listening to others. But, you know, it, it, it's, again, it's a fine line to cross. Shit, we just got fucking wasted by a grenade. Oh, shit. He's coming, but what? I'm actually dying here. I'm about to die. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think we're gonna. Ah, uh, shitty dicks. Ah, uh, see, I didn't realise. I was shooting the shit out of him. I didn't realise he got armed. Well, I realised he was armoured up, but I didn't realise he had a motherfucking flamethrower. You were beaten to death. Try using melee. What? <laughs> that makes no sense. That makes no sense. You were beaten to death because you can't use you were melee. On fire, yeah. No, it's like. It's... Nonsense, man. No. Nonsense. But it's, uh, it's, it is, it, and, and we see it, you know, it's, a part of it is this whole, um, John Pearson talks about it, the equality of opportunity versus the equality of outcome. Yeah. It's like, right, we need to redistribute the senior management. Yes, absolutely. No, it needs to be 50% women, 50% men. No, terrible idea. Because, like, there's, there's, there's equal incompetence on either side. It's like, we need to have the most skilled people in charge. Yeah. We, we can't just be like, yeah, right. The, the best sort of senior management team is one made up half men, half women. It's like that, that's just not the case. In, in, in various industries, guy flamethrowers coming behind you. Right. You know, that's, it, just, it just doesn't work out that way. And, and probably never has. What oh, is he coming for me? Did you hear him? He was just like, oh shit! There he goes. Oh, oh, crap. And we, we, we've got it. We've got it really bad in our organisation for, let's say, just, just the, the, the arbitrary, like... Oh, I think he's just a, a typical kind of armoured guy. Mm -hmm. he's a, I just shot him. <laughs> There's always one. Speaking of fucking... Pause. No, go away. And yeah, I'm hurt bad. I'm emotionally bad. I said I was criticizing the, you know, the matriarchy and the patriarchy. No, I wasn't. I was just saying that, you know, it, it's it's all about who's the best person for the job. Yeah. And that changes over time. You know. Winnie Churchill was like the most popular freaking prime minister ever, but then the war ended. They were like, "We don't really need you anymore." Yeah. See you later. And that's I, th I think that's that's fair enough. Um, I don't I don't shit I don't think what what's fair enough right now is the way leadership's continually changing in our government. But you know, I think stability's necessary for long term success. They're fucking everywhere. Every little nook and cranny they're hiding out. But, but, yeah. Certainly, change, change, not all change is good, oh, isn't mother it? bitch. Who <laughs> did that to you? I'm not sure. But I got freaking... I think it's him. 
Nah, I, get, I, get, I get RPG'd in the jaw as well. I think I got RPG'd oh, you get... in the face as well. Fuck me. We both died. We're clearly not, you know, not you approaching died, this yeah, well. strategically enough. Too busy yammering. Gonna have to just knuckle down. You called her a knucklehead and said that she should knuckle <laughs> down and you would knuckle her fat head. <laughs> and then you stamped on Gerard's foot. That was an accident. That was an accident. No, it wasn't. <laughs> It could have been. I mean, very sure it could have been. That's yeah. That's a yeah. peep show right now. That's a lot of peep show. Yeah. If you haven't seen peep show? I recommend you check it out. Oh, I yeah. made a pure wicked like costume AK with like fifty, fifty mag rounds and all sorts. It's quite cheeky. Okay, we'll stay low. We'll, we'll be, be ninjas, fucking ninjas, man. I'll draw out the fucking. Oh, see, every time. It's so annoys me, it's this inconsistent, like, computer AI. Right, I'm um, playing for the edge is coming. Oh shit, I just dropped the grenade at our feet. That was, wow, what, that was, wow, what? Wait, I need to try and... I need to fucking move. Yeah. Just barely out of his reach. Again, we'll just make that fucking hood of this. Aye, decent. Okay, I've got it. Do, it doesn't help that I'm getting fucking endless phone calls. Honestly, what what part of I'm in a meeting don't people understand? Is that what like you've got, like your yeah, status or whatever? That's like my first status when I'm doing this. Is I'm in a meeting, leave me alone. Uh, yeah, I still get endless fucking phone calls. It's just because you're so just want to Just want to verify that you, it's like, no, fuck off. Honestly, so the burdens of leadership. It's, no. a, it's a heavy crown to wear. No. Is, is that no. block my part? Uh, he's, he, uh, he's got his helmet off. He's coming to get you. Aye, oh, he's got his helmet off. Right, off. He's dead. Where, are, where the fuck are I'm you? Round, right? I'm rounded a corner and there's a guy up here with a fucking Gatling gun. See if you can control back. Nah. What the fuck happened there? Oh, did you just die? Nah, I got popped. Sorry. I, I, I rounded a corner and there was just a Gatling gun there and I fucking died. I don't know if I'd stepped on a Claymore 9 or something. Oh, this is getting edited to fuck, man. There's a really good um, digital gaming that just came out. Oh, yeah. Um, About Metal Gear. And uh, David Hatter and the Rape Set and everything. So oh, that, nice. Really no, I'd watch that. He drops, uh, he shamelessly promotes um, some movie he's written called Wolves about werewolves. <laughs> He's like, I have to know the things you know. Like wolves, a bit of a bit. <laughs> well, it's, uh, do you know what, who played um, Soldier Boy in The Boys? Uh, I, 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 can't, I can't remember his name. Sam, something I want to say. Yeah, but he, uh, he's, apparently he's up for the next Metal Gear movie. All right, that, that uh, could be cool. That, I don't believe that thing's ever getting made. Well, it's it's been know. in development for about 40 years. Because they were thinking about Hugh Jackman, which... Yeah, yeah. He's a bit too big. Uh, he, he, I Huge think he's a bit too man. too big. Um, but I mean, that. that that you can kind of... Whatever. Um, and then Chris... But, uh, but, uh, but again, I'm going off the info I was reading on IGN. God, probably like five or six years ago. They were interested in like Christian Bale. Because um, Kojima was flip-flopping. He said he would love Hugh Jackman as, as Solid Snake. And then he completely changed his mind. He said he wanted like an unknown who they could kind of uh, kickstart his career. But I, I'm assuming, I mean, all the kind of sources point to it's Metal Gear Solid 1. Ah, yeah, so yeah. Like that's, that's where it starts. Sh- Shadow, it? Shadow Moses. Yeah, I, I think it's a good place to start because they talk about his kind of previous missions and shit just enough. Yeah. So you could see like... Hang on, shotgun guy's coming, I'm sure. Ah, he comes down. Watch my right, would you, to say so. Here he comes. Shotgun's still coming. Aye, I get my head. Um, there's a, a really cool. It's such a simple little poster someone made. I found it on Pinterest, and it was uh, it was Hugh Jackman as as Snake, and they've like, you know, just photoshopped on like the sort of bandana, mm-hmm. and it's really simple, but actually it was really awesome. And they had Daniel Craig as Liquid Snake, oh, and again yeah. they kind of. I don't know if it's from a film or if they like photoshopped it, they just kind of gave him long hair and I was like, oh, that actually looks really awesome. 
Someone was on about Gary Oldman as um, Liquid. Mm. And then other people have said, well, because they're twins, get the same actor to be both. But yeah. um, I, I'd be I'd be fine with them. I think it would work out right. better. Oh, there's a guy down here. Right. I think it'd be better to just, just have separate actors for them. You just make things like when they fight and things like that. It'd just be better. Um, yep, they've got a few mounted guns, I dare say. How old is David Tater? Fuck you. Do, do you know? Nah, I mean, he's, he's got to be like 40s or something. I, th- I think easily. Yeah. Fuck you, watch right in front of that sniper shot. Oh, um, I wonder who shot me from behind. Uh, I, I, I would say, get out of my motherfucking road. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I would say, I think maybe 50s actually. Like, like, Barely in his fifties, but um, game mechanics, man. Um, am I out of sniper shots? It's cool. You know, because bear in mind, like it was ninety eight. Metal Gear Solid. Um, I mean, if they'd made it ten, fifteen years ago, I would say like just cast David Hayter and you know feed him some steroids, so he's. A little bit more kind of like jacked, and then you know, Snake's not like pure jacked, but he's like in shape. Yeah. And yeah. then just have David Hater, and all the fanboys would be so happy. Ah, uh, but would he play Liquid? Nah, <laughs> I mean I'd cast somebody else as Liquid, but uh, you, you'd argue they're not identical twins. Yeah, because I mean one's got they're just, so they are. They, you know, one's got long hair. Well, I can't remember where the source was, but I had heard Snake, uh, Solid Snake has blonde hair but dyes it. But I can't remember where I heard that. And also, because if he was given the dominant genes, wouldn't he, you know, black, black, black or sort of brownish wood is usually dominant over... Fuck's sake, man. Over blonde. So it would, it would make sense if one was blonde and the other was dark hair. Come on. Oh, this is just fucking move up. This is swap maneuvers. You know, actually like Who's who shouldn't get some? Someone's gonna get some in a minute. You fuck face. Sport, get out of the way. See they're all they're all sneaky snackies. Oh fuck's sake. I need to get a bigger clip. Oh, there's a grenade down there, so I can do that. Uh, how's he alive? I just smoked you in the face with a grenade. <laughs> I forgot I could do that. Oh god, I forgot Alice was even in this, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go to the shopping mall and burn some shit and <laughs> look at that. <sighs> even with my phone vibrating, still, look at that. Nearly double the kills. Yeah, but I took out all the heavies and... Oh, I'm pretty sure I took out more than that. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Walked right in and out. Again, sorry. It's like, again, it's like, it's trying to run a fucking business here. The fucking phone calls every two seconds. Holy. Are you having lunch just now? I know you have lunch every day and and, and you're, you're busy at this exact time, but I'm just going to phone you, see what you're up to. No, fuck off. Take the fucking hint. Oh, shit. Oh. Heavy dodge that up, DJ. Oh, fucking grenade as well. Oh, shot to the head. Nah, he's fine. Did you One see that roll? Did you see that dodge? That was actual. I mean, what? Did you see that? A shot fucking RPG operator in the face and he just sort of shrugged it off. Even compensating for the recoil. What? Ah. Why am I kind of glowing? Why have I got a weird kind of aura to me? I think just because you're hiding. I think. It's as simple as that. I'm sick of them being here. You're yeah. right, man. Honestly, all, I feel all I take are just phone calls, just asking fucking generic shit. Um, I had to do a, a questionnaire because I was applying for a different job the other day. Mm-hmm. And um, <laughs> the first question on the... Basically, I was on the short list, but the short list isn't that short, so you did this. The old and long list? Aye. So, the first question was, 
do you still want the job? And it's like, you see, if you're answering no, then it should have an option where, like, if you hit no, do it not just, just kicks you, yeah, just kicks you out of the question now. Fuck's sake. Did you see that? <laughs> I dodged that rocket launcher in, like, mid-air. Aye. I'm fatally wounded over here. Try oh, still messaging me. Still. Still texts. Still new texts. Aye. Literally crawling. Get in that wee crevice. Crawling. Crawling. Trying not to die. Oh, I'm probably messaging you now. I'm probably asking the same question. No, it's your sister. Just Who cares? Who cares? I've been messaging me as well. Right. Simultaneous messaging. Right, you, you, you right there. I'm going to shoot this. Here's, here's an adorable photo. Look at this photograph. It's like, no, fucking business. I'm a man on a mission. Did you up the difficulty or something? Because they're actually trying to hide from... That's what I'm saying. The AI in this is so inconsistent. Oh, can you climb this? Oh, no. I I thought I could step jump you. I I actually think this is a good idea. Split the party. Always split the party. And there's this fly in here as well. Fuck's sake. You You know, it's just a perfect storm in here right now. Phone calls and there's a fucking fly. <laughs> there's a grenade for you. Right, so the thing I was chuckling myself about before I came in here is, yeah. you know, you know that way you get recommendations for people on Facebook and Instagram and all that good stuff. Right. And it's more often than not somebody you you have absolutely no interest in interacting with. Uh-huh. But you kind of out of morbid curiosity. Like, we'll have a peek anyway. Yeah. Be like, oh, okay, I, I, I'm curious enough to see what they've been up to. Despite yourself. And then you immediately, immediately, shot, immediately, shot, yeah. immediately regret it. Yeah. Well, that's where I was at this morning. Right. Oh, you cunt. I want you. No, no. I thought I was behind the wall and you went to see me. Where are you going? <laughs> You're going to have to, like, circle back. Where are you going? You're, you're dead, mate. You're dead. No, I'm got it. No, you don't. Mother well bitch. done. Honestly, I was convinced he had us there. Yeah. So okay. is that fine? Aye, so check, well, I mean, check I this mean, individual out. Don't, 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 you don't need to like, drop names or No, no, I'm not. Not anybody's going to go with the fuck. No, I'm not name dropping. Right, it's it's this, this individual who... Um, Who's, who's made it as an artist, director, producer. Right. And I'm like, right. And it's like, oh, God, it's pure quote. David Attenborough, you know, told us not to pursue the career of a uh, filmmaker. Right. And, and I, I, I pursued it anyway. It's like, fuck off. David, you know David I mean? Attenborough. David Attenborough. Who said, who said that to you personally? Yeah, or? exactly. David Attenborough said jack shit. What the hell? I oh, know, sorry, I'm stuck on the stairs. And I'm just like, no, he did me. Uh-huh. You know, you know that still game where the, the man we need are uh-huh. outside the fucking community centre, uh-huh. and he's like that. You know, oh, I've always had great respect for the community and all this. And they're like, no, you don't. And it's like, no, he did me. It's like David Attenborough said, fuck all to you about nothing ever. And and equally, it's like, oh, I, I you know what I mean? I, we, te- technically, this is filmmaking. You know? Uh, yeah, yeah. I need a little bit more info. I mean, are you? Are you Christopher Nolan or are you... Yeah, exactly. It's like, which no, I'm not... I, I, if, you, if you're making a living out of any type of like, creative endeavour, you're doing good. Yeah, no. So exactly. like, I'm not, I'm not like, criticising, but oh, I'm just saying... Shit. What the hell? That's what I'm saying. Every time I walk around a fucking corner, there is a fucker who's okay. trying to kill me. Where are they? Yeah, yeah, I mean, bad doesn't even cover it. Yeah, I, I really didn't I, have any chance. Literally, there, a bridge collapsed. Like, the walkway collapsed <laughs> and I fell on top of him. He walked around a corner. That's fucking... Oh, this is just so fucking irritating. What, what's that What's that thing? I think it's like American Pie where they say, like, however many girls he says he's, like, hooked up with, divide it by three. See, when Aye. people are talking about, like, being a filmmaker or whatever, see whatever they say on, like, their LinkedIn or what have you. Divide it by three. They have a self-named website. Right. Like, I'm, 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 we'll mock surrender. Oh, right, oh, fine. Sorry. Well, you, you, 
you'd already, I'd already started shooting. Um, no, I don't want that. Where, where, Jimmy? Where? I still got the sniper. Oh, that's fine. Um, it's like self, self name website, mm -hmm. and and it's like Dim did an interesting post about it. They said, you know, despite what Instagram and all that shit might say, actually, when you look at tax returns, a fraction of young people today are self employed. Yeah. Like the vast majority are not like paying their taxes like a self employed person. Yeah. Which we suggest that it's a lot of shit. It's all just a lot of Instagram fucking bollocks. Well, yeah, exactly. I mean, it's the, it's hard to describe. It's a sort of in thing at the moment. It's yeah. like living my truth. Yeah. Despite what a man, aka David Attenborough, would say, you know, I have followed my truth. Yeah. Fuck off. David Attenborough said no such thing. He had no such criticism or concern. It's not just a man. Not just another man. What is that death doing? It's the AI is all over the place, man. Oh my word. Oh, so much shit. So much shit. Yeah, the annoying thing about the film industry um, is it, it's another one of those industries where you're expected to do like a lot of stuff for free. It's not even that. It's like it, it's absurd. It's like four or five years, and I'm not exaggerating here. Completely unpaid, doing like 12, 14 hour fucking shifts. Yeah. So if you're not from a certain type of background, there's there's no way that you there's just no way you can't you can't get into it. And I'm not I'm not saying that. Um, I keep saying Christopher Nolan. I'm not saying Christopher Nolan isn't talented. I'm saying it was the, the perfect storm of him being in the right situation, knowing, knowing the right people, let's be honest. Yeah, uh, there's definitely an element of that. Huge, well, not just an element. There's a huge yeah. aspect of knowing the right people. Yeah, a million percent. And people... Like, I'm was, just dumb luck. Just yeah, straight up. You, you happen to look like somebody. There's a... There was a guy, I was going to be in some like random student film uh, a while ago, a couple of years ago, and um, he was, I think he was like Spanish or some shit, you know, he was like a, a, a sort of like foreign exchange student, and um, I got really nosy, looked into him of course from crazy rich background Fuck and all that off. shit, just wanted to like, sort of... What? What are you? Oh, shotgun cunt, fucking right on top of me anyway. Oh, this is getting really frustrating. Yeah. I might have to upgrade my weapons. I feel bad. Well, so yeah, that might, that might help. Probably spent too long with my same shitty M4, but I like the M4. Yeah. I found it was an old faithful. But reloads take too long, and I'm yeah. fucking... Up, I, up, up the, bullets and nothing happens. I think you can up like, the reload speed, and you can definitely up, load, up the number of bullets in the chamber. I've, I've got, like, um, fucking a million quid to spend. Right, let's try this again. Back to the motherfuck, motherfuckers. Yeah. Motherfuck. Back, back. Let's try again, right? Fully customised, fucking scoped, Look best of your weapon. Can you do a, maybe a little zoom in? That'd be pretty cool on my... Oh, oh look, look at the state of that. Vibe. <laughs> Absolutely putrid. Right. Have you got a bayonet? Look at mine. Look at my gold fucking machine yeah, gun. Yeah. It adds nothing in terms of practicality. Oh, that's gangster. But it's though. bright fucking gold. It's actually labelled as pimp. You've been using tactical and inserts to... I didn't shoot. I did a roll round the corner. It's probably too much. Don't worry about it. I'll be 10% extra ammo, so... Oh, yeah, I do have a bayonet on the front of this. That's it, here we go. Oh, radio. That's it, no more fucking around. Oh, you found a radio log? Oh, that was just as well. Um, right, so what was that? Aye, so, I like to kind of what I was saying, right? Yep. So, the film industry and all that shit. So, there was this gentleman, I, th I think he was Spanish or some shit, it doesn't matter, but the, the point is, like, sort of, a student from Europe who, you know, rich ass family and all that shit, like, I'm going to study abroad, like, kind of posh old sort of status. Um, so fucking entitled. Um, he had a script. Frankly, it was garbage, but whatever. It's, you know, it's a daft wee student production. I was like, I just want to do it for the experience and all that type of stuff and kind of get, you know, make make some 
friends first, but you know, connections long term, hopefully. Um, so anyway, I was going to do it, right? But then it was unpaid, all that crap. 99% of student films are, so that's fine, that's whatever. But then the motherfucker sends me the schedule, and it's like, it was two, it was like two weeks, something like, you know, 8 a.m. to like 6 p.m. And I'm like, are you fucking serious? I, I was like, dude, I, I, happy to do it for free, but you, that's that's way too much. I can't give up that. God damn it. How the fuck did we both get RPG? <laughs> what a shot. You've got to give him that. That was a good shot. <laughs> Even with the fucking upgrades. I got diamond crusted grenades. And we somehow got fucking DP'd by a fucking rocket launcher. Right, one of us needs to focus on it. Like, I'll snipe to begin with and I'll try and get those dudes Fine. with the RPG guys Fine. and shit. Right? Right. I agree. And we'll, we'll mock surrender. I'll mock surrender with you as well. <gasps> oh my word! I mean, it's, 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 it's a big problem with it. The, the industry is in many ways both over and underfunded so there's, there's yeah, so much it's money blo- I would call it bloated funding yeah. it's bloated because um, I mean Disney have more you know so much money and shit like that that they can afford just utter garbage like see see, you know like um, hulk yeah no, oh, not even that but I, I mean just more like John Travolta had it in his contract that he he, wa- he needed a new white Armani t-shirt every day of filming okay you know just shit like that and I mean because for them that's not a lot of money but that, that'd be at least oh my god I haven't saved any more upgrades oh you're joking what happened I don't know because I didn't survive long enough to keep them I guess oh for fuck's sake so it's like reloaded because we hadn't yeah. had a check oh my god <laughs> this game <laughs> uh, yeah John Travolta gets that and that, that'd be a couple of thousand thousand bucks or what have you so like in, in the grand scheme of things in like a big multi-million dollar film that's nothing but like to me it's like I could go make a fucking film with just that money yeah, that, I mean, that John Travolta's wasting on fucking Armani t-shirts and shit um, so yeah so this, this dude it was like it was like two weeks straight like nine hour shit like you know like a full time job and I'm like you're asking way too much uh, of people there yeah and he was on about like what the fuck? It happened again. Is, is this guy just the best RPG shot in the universe? Because I swear I'm hiding behind the corner, undercover, out of range, the RPG tickles the ground and kills us both instantly. This is fucked, man. Honestly. I may try you. Is it just it. us? Are we just fucking trash? I don't think so. No, I, 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 I want my fucking up. Upgrades. Right. I don't know why I had to be so close to you there. No, I don't know. Yeah, so right, while you're there, so I've just finished my thought. So, they, they did two weeks, full time, not a penny paid to you. And I'm like, bro, that that's way too much. Like, that's at the point where I, I, I couldn't work around my schedule. I'd need to take two weeks off work. Yeah, so, exactly. not only would I not be making money, which again, I'm fine with for giving the project. I would actively be like losing money. It's like, like no, dude, you just. But some of them are just delusional. It's like, oh, but when, when I'm like, the biggest director in Hollywood, then I'll pay you back. Number one, no, you won't. You'll forget my name. Yeah. The second I'm off that set, and number two, you know what? What's the chances of you actually becoming as big as that? Probably not, because what you wrote and directed was utter trash. Plus, you don't know the right people, frankly, and all that garbage. But, uh, yeah. There's um <laughs> that camel. This means we need a survival. Otherwise, it would just unsave all this shit. I know. In fact, no. If you pause, I'm sure there'll be an option to like save. Yeah, I might even just look that up. There's a guy, um, Jim Sterling. He does a show called The Jim Quisition. He's gone a bit off the rails. He's like kind of lost it a wee bit recently. But anyway, but the point is, it's like gaming. He talks about, but it's the same thing. It's always on about like him. Um, it's a multi, multi-billion dollar industry and yet you have massive companies like EA 
and they expect people to like do unpaid overtime and all this type of thing. And then it's like, especially if you're trying to like break in, it's like, oh yeah, you'll be working here for nine months unpaid. And it's like, no, <laughs> what the fuck? Like, I, I'm not doing that. It's like, oh, you'll never break in. You're not passionate enough to break into this industry. It's like, go fuck yourself with passionate. You're, you're only in the industry, you're a CEO in the industry because you, you sucked a couple of dicks and went to business school and, you know, your rich daddy, like, what have you. You don't give a fuck about the industry. Don't talk to me about passion. Can I pay? What was it Kevin Bridges said? Like, hi, Scottish gas. Do you, are you prepared to accept self-esteem? It's the same thing. It's author the ball. Gonna have to survive. Fuck it. Hundred percent. I'm not even fucking equipped. It. No. No. Give it. Two sec. It's not equipped. It for some reason. The fucking gun that I just bought. Fucking equip it. Obviously. <laughs> Pretty sure it's not equipped my sniper either. This fucking game. Honestly. Yeah, I've just spent fucking ten minutes. I don't care. Two sec, sorry, I need to equip my fucking Desert Eagle. <laughs> I equip my other shit. Because that wasn't explicitly fucking implied. Right? You happy? I don't feel like you specifically equipped it. Equip it. Again, my Desert Eagle. Have you specifically equipped it? I don't feel you have. No, you have. Good. Good game. That flying is going to get chipped. This, this is one of those sessions, you know, where you just fucking, like, <laughs> what? We haven't, like, I mean, in real terms, we haven't moved. That's the bit that's getting really on my tits. We've, we're at the same, technically speaking, at the same two guys. You shoot, the, you, you, shoot, you shoot the guy on the left. Did you shoot both of them? I don't know. No, you must Did have shot fall one. over? I think he just fell over. What? Oh, he faked it. <gasps> Rick. It's that behaviour. It's that fucking low order behaviour, man. What are we doing? Very small. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean it. Fucking dickhead. What are you? I mean, no, I've just done all my customizations. Yeah, right. Grab your head, twist it, pop your heat right off. Uh, did you see that? Fuck off. Right, uh, I'm sniping this. Gentlemen up here. Let's, let's count down. Alright, we've got, got to, got to get rid of the guys up top. So, right, so you you hold out there. One sec. Troublemaker. Bam, 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 to the knee, to the knee. And apparently, we have to go so cautiously. Okay, there's another gentleman see. with the RPG. Oh, right, I guess so. Fucking pow! There's right, guys walking about with our fucking heads off. Honest to fuck. Oh, it's meant to be army of two. Army of twat. Whoa, boy. Just shot him right in the shoulder and he died. Good. Right, I'm gonna move up slightly, try and draw out that RPG bastard who lived here. I don't, I don't even fully understand where he was shooting from to blow us up each time. I think, like, see where you're looking, but up. Ah, is that him just in that, see that little, that little window? Pocket. Oh. Right, my gun now fires bullets too quickly. That's how we SMG you thought, is it? I don't know. It just fucking eats bullets though. It's actually quite irritating. We're playing this so like cautiously. It's only because I can't be arse going back upgrading on this shit. I feel like I'm shooting guys like fucking helmets off. Aye, that does happen. You shoot them in the head and then the helmet comes off. And like, I think some I think sniper rifle comes off still. I know, but it's, it's just so fucking slow. Right, do you want to try and take this side? Like, climb up this fence and shoot that guy at the Gatling gun. Yeah. And then we'll fucking just... Let me help you up. You know, man mark that, that post, right? And just shoot them from afar. 
because I, I, I mean the Gatlin the Gatlin's going to be a waste of time because you're pretty much fully exposed while you're at it yeah. but it might be alright all right place for me to exactly shorty he's a heavy with a shot shorty with the he's, body. he's coming to you yeah he's right at me I killed him yeah, good luck that was decent obviously I guess he's so all sorts of heat shots man <laughs> that's a cunty statement mate right. you're good just gonna move up, get some ammo, and then move back into cover. Cause up the top of this stairs here is just a shitload of them up here. But I'm gonna reload, I'm gonna play this strategically. I'm gonna throw a grenade into that little sweet spot. Cause I know a load of them are coming out. Ah ha ha ha, I got them all. No, oh didn't. Jesus Christ! Oh my word. Oh they got me. Oh you, all right? you totally got me. Oh no, I'm Are they? Cause I thought they were pretty sure they're all dead. No, they were good. Yeah. Right, let's see. That that was the bit that collapsed on me down here, and I fucking felt my basic death because of the guy. Right. Same, I'm reloading the shit, and then I'm gonna come downstairs and just sort of slowly start drawing them out. Are you staying up top or? I was. I think I was thinking I'd stay up top. This bit falls. Two six. Uh, that bit falls and then that, that that sort of explodes opens that wall there and they all come through there you ready? <laughs> uh, that was an email that was, that was just an email alright ready here they go Scott Nelson shot that, that one gone fuck me bloody oh you have to shoot him from behind don't you? yeah yeah that'll kill you if you fall Sort of draws fire. I want. So they need not go stairs. Is he in your sort of sight? Ah, uh, he's now. I can't. I can't get him on me to relocate. Oh damn it! I'm a coming. You're really not. I'm fucking dead. Of course I am. Wait, where is he? He's literally pointing at you. To the cover, to the cover, to the cover. Right, kill oh, them. Oh, you got him right there. Right, 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 right. How? How? Because it's a desert eagle instead of a shitty pistol. Good. That's all I need. Back to life. Fuckers, not. Right, again, this, no, no cockiness this time. No, I'm not even going to take his Gatling gun. I'm going to try it. I don't trust myself. Right. I expect to walk around this corner straight into a shotgun bastard. I uh, actually, I might hang back just a wee touch so that okay. if they do pop out, you know, they don't just shoot both of us. Right, nah, it's just a door. Look at that, lads. First time. Effortless. Easy. That's probably a checkpoint. Come on. Better get inside. Better get inside. That sounds bad. It's probably gonna rain or something. She could have said anything. We're definitely screwed if we stay here. Keep moving. Oh, that's all the way below then. went oddly quiet where is everybody else I expected a pure gunfight from the back of that but no no nothing don't see anybody yeah that's what's worrying me too up here alright now it's a checkpoint right get that one surely that the that's the guns taking all the calls making all the kills making all them deals carping all them DMs I saw you copying <laughs> me there doing the little front flip down the, down the chasm. Carpy and then DMs. Do you want left? I'll take right. Ah, oh, shit. It's not even as simple as that. Right, I'll, I'll take the two on the left. Um, you, 
Okay, why don't you shoot the guy who's kicking him and I'll shoot the other two? Right, I'll shoot the guy who's okay. kicking him then. Right, too late. This game gives you no time to like fucking strategize. It's just like, oh yeah, no, he's dead. And he is, yeah. Oh no, I think. No, he did. He's still alive. Sweet. Are you safe, Alan? I'm gonna try and. I'll sit here because there's a few mother bitches and Wendy's and shit. These are these guys actually. They, they're dressed kind of like the, you know, remember the Shinra dudes from um, Thingma Bobber. Oh, Final, Final Fantasy. Seven. Yeah, the kind of, or actually, I'm more thinking Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, I think it's Galvaria soldiers. Okay, I feel like I'm right out of the open here. What the fuck? What? I want a replay of that. I shot the guy right in the face and he just didn't die. Shit! Shotgun. Where? Coming. Ah, right in front of you. I got his helmet. Spare him head. Yeah, good. I know. See, I, I feel like your character always kind of praises my guy. And my guy like never says anything encouraging. He's well, just a pure, you know, he's a pure fucking like praise hog. It's a Rick and Morty type of dynamic. Like, ah, no. oh jeez, oh jeez. Yeah, but I don't think it is. I feel like. Um, Ty pulls his weight, you know what I mean? No, more, more than pulls his weight. Where are you shooting? Who's, who's giving me that? Um, I, I flanked round. Uh, yeah, yeah, I see, I see. These guys in the fucking little bunker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, No, get off that fucking Gatlin. Twat. Oh, what's the you? Get to too far. Wolverines! Oh, oh dull noise. So, some, some of the um some of the textures in this game are ugly as fuck. Like, I don't know if it's just like bad rendering or whatever, but it's just ugly. Well this was the kind of Great yeah. military shooter generation. That, that was every game on PS3. And Xbox 360 was just like, I've got an idea, let's make a great military shooter. I mean, I like this machine gun. It, it definitely delivers the bullets, but I don't know, man. In terms of like, fuck off. I can't, can't even get behind cover here. Fuck off. And that, that's what really annoys me, is you come around a corner and it's like the game just sort of fucking booby traps you. And it's like, aye, very good. Did that well, do well, well done. You made me walk into an area that had like 17 guys in it. Well done, you. Well, you should have known better. Should have should tried and, what, preempted it? Get fucked, game. You went low and I went high. And I was able to kill the shit out of someone. Aye, you yeah, yeah, actually got a really good kind of kill streak there. Get yourself what? Shit, what? See, that's what I'm saying, man. Crawl, crawl over here. I'm, I'm a faked it. You fucking. Oh, again, you still fucking. Oh. I'm over here copying all them DMs. He said something about a bulldozer, I think. Huh? Alright. Not injured or anything. I, I assume I mean that bulldozer. More ammo. What? I uh, only on a sniper rifle. Just. Oh, we're gonna go and you go and grab that and see if I'll see if I can just sit and shoot him. Oh, okay. I actually thought I could get to the digger, but maybe not. 
Oh no, I think I need to come down. You need to go like down to go up. Sorry. I'm just totally backtracked for no reason. For no reason. And then I'll get the digger. Here we go. Here we go. Right. I just drove it with my mind, I guess. I was so badass, it just fucking drove itself through that. But apparently so. Uh, and I just warped it. No, yeah, there's yeah. no one even inside it, it's just on its way. Well, that was cool. That was cool. What? I just warped again. Just well, me bit. too. I was surrounded. All back to back. Shotgun, 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 shotgun. Oh, can Turn. Oh, mate, this is fucking torture. Where are they? Where are all the shots coming from, man? Behind us. Stay dead, you know. Now this is cool. See, this is fun. Totally implausible. Especially given the first half of this video. Uh, where we had to, like, just... I'm, we, I'm instinctively hitting square to, like, reload these on the area. Yeah, I know, exactly. Just fucking open it up. Heaven? No, still alive. Oft. Oft still oh, captured. Oh, sweet. Gonna take us in, Golden Eye style. Gonna have to use the fucking magnet watch thing <laughs> to like steal the keys. Everything is black and white, and your partner is implicated in any decision you make. <laughs> who are you when they may not be? In, uh, who are you when there may not be any consequences? What? It's confusing way to word it. I am me. And me I am. Dash into cover. Classy. Stuff like that. I'm obviously not very good at dashing into cover. Because I do just kind of flop about like a big fuck. Oh. Okay. That voice acting. You'll be praying for that soon. Thank you, we'll come back in. <laughs> Look at the way I'm lying as well. Is that not a bit sus? What's been going on there? And getting freaking booty busted with one hand through the floor. What's happening? Well, then. Well, I think he can save me. I think you need to save yourself. I don't think I do. No? No, because look, my guy's actually beyond arm's length. So, so you're just like waiting. Just do some shadow boxing. Oh, who's that? Did you see that? Somebody's like came to your rescue. Of 
more so. Okay, that's actually kind of interesting. Ah, yeah. Split, oh, no, split the party a wee bit. Yeah. Nice to see I don't get any support. I was going to... This dude is not a team player at all. I was going to take him off stage and he just started heavy shooting. Oh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, 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 oh,
two more bullets as well. I don't know, man. I've, I've lost my gun. I've had a shotgun. Oh, witness. I'm saying, sorry, I've died and I seem to have lost my gun. They'll be early on. Oh, I hope so, but because otherwise I'm fucking fucked. Oh, wait. There's a machine gun here. That's different. That's some prick who asked for my uh, bank details to pay me for something, and now mm -hmm. he's just messaged me like, oh, I'll need, I'll need her, like an invoice, and I'm like, oh, just, just shut up. Just busy work, it's just something extra. To make himself feel important. You know what, I might try and charge him for the invoice, actually. You should charge him for the invoice. Oh, well, that's that's a, oh, okay, it's an extra 25. Yeah, for, yeah, that's for administrative for. burden, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Have you watched Bad Exorcist yet? Bad exorcist. Ah, uh, it's on Netflix. It's quite, it's quite shy, but it's quite funny. So anyway, they're pure illegitimate like exorcist agency, and it's set in Poland. So it's like um, they, they'll kill the demon and be like, "That'll be two hundred slabby, three hundred if you want an invoice." So I may just say that, and they just be like, "Yeah, it's it's, it's an extra. It's, it's three hundred if you want an invoice." Fuck this guy. No. You well, can't. actually, see, to be fair, um, he, it was a trial sort of like task for a job. Um, and he paid us 50 bucks for it, which is actually like a lot of folk expect you to do a lot more work and, oh, and not pay you, you know, for as like part of the application. Um, Shit, just because I can see you doesn't mean we can get to each other. So that's actually kind of decent of him to repay us for stuff. But no, it isn't actually, it isn't decent of him. That's like standard. Where's your pension? You know what I mean? But that, that's what I'm saying is people, employers and stuff treat you like such shit that someone treats you you know reasonable in the, in the acceptable standard of reasonable and you're like oh what a great guy like, no that's just fucking standard getting paid for doing work for somebody that's just fucking standard what next I am looking for a joiner to you know fit my kitchen so I was thinking she could come over and do up my bathroom and I'll not pay you it'll just be like a sort of trial like no nah, that nah. shit wouldn't fucking fly would it no nah, no nah. And it, and it should be the same for all industries, you know what I mean? Is workers' rights are meant to be protected? That's why we have. That's supposedly why we have employment law. But it, it, it recently doesn't feel that way. It doesn't feel like the balance has been corrected. Yeah. Worker rights have been eroded, while employer rights have just gotten like insane. And let, let's say it, it, it's one thing for me to hear about it in a sort of um, industry like you know the arts where. There is a, there was a lot going on, you know, there, there is a lot more volatility, but not in fucking manufacturing and like heavy duty machine shops, it's like, you know, these, these are guys who work for the company for like 20 years in some case, and the company can what, just, just turn around and go, no, 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 we're bankrupt, and then the next day reopen as the same company, but cut all the terms, like, no, you can't do that, that is against the law. You know BHS um, got sold for a pound? I believe stuff like that because they, they it will come with like um, yeah they, terms. I, I, the the guy that, that ran it or whatever he basically just sold it to his friend for a pound. It's, it was something to do with if they went bankrupt they'd have to pay off people like. Um, uh, I mean, did they not just like, like did they not just shut anyway? Well, yeah. What so what happened was he it got sold to. It's his friend. Uh huh. Why have I not got a gun? I don't know. If he, if by selling it to his pal for one pound, they could like shut it or something. He was no longer had to pay. Yeah, like had oh, to pay off the contract. Or yeah, I don't know the technicalities, but long story short, they didn't have to like pay everybody who worked for them anymore. They just shut and fuck you. No um, severance. No pensions. No none of that. Where are you? Because I've got your buddy here. Ah, oh, there you are. And it's like, how's that? Just how, how can they do that? Well, exactly. I mean, it's it, it's like, it's not a loophole. It was written into law that you can't do stuff like this. Oh, we're going to betray him. Here is gear. <laughs> I love this fucking table full of cocaine. <laughs> Who are you? You've got, you got a familiar voice. His job and a lunatic, full of big talk about community and freedom of choice. And he pay not too shabby. Too shabby. But he just want to kill the meat. I start thinking he not so much Marx, a lot more Lenin. Let's just get the hell out of here. 
Oh, there's a bit of politics in there talking about you know, more of a Marxist than uh, Lenin. You know, because Marxism, that's, that's shy, terrible. No one wants Marxism. It's like equal pay for employers. No, if it's not capitalism, it's that shy. Even though we've had controlled capitalism for numerous fucking, like, generations. I'm all for these guys, like, fucking protesting right now. The unions, I'm all with them. They have my support. Anything I could do to help. Because I, 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 I do think the balance of power has long been, like, fucking distorted. Oh, nice. Got our real guns back. Ooh. When we think we're gonna, about to finish this stage, I'm gonna do my weapon customization. Oh, so it saves it. Ah, ah. What, go to the X's. You are my new favorite Russian. Oh, plant explosives. Okay. I'll cover you from here. Okay. Uh, is it upstairs? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Where's Brezhnev? Brezhnev. It says follow Brezhnev, but he's just a John. Oh, right, I see the one that he's setting up. Ah, can you pick up the bomb? Ah, you're gonna have to cover me. Oh, whatever. I just don't know where I'm going with. Oh, shit. Someone needs to get ahead of me. Pretty sure the guy's up the stairs. Yeah, but damn it. Try it. Come on, come on. Got it. I know folk that work in um, freaking Tesco and Aldi and shit like that, and it, it's it's just bad. Seriously? Yeah. Just get axed. Just get axed right, left, and centre. Aye. Uh, well, see exactly. That's why unions are having to not not like, like unreasonably take up arms against the government. Because the government, the, the whole, and but where's Labour? Fuck, I've not heard a single Labour representative make a fucking comment on the current situation, on current cost of living. Where's fucking Keir Starmer? Who's that? He's leader of the Labour Party. The opposition, you yeah, know? Okay, the, guy, the guys who are meant to be, like, your voice to an extent. Yeah. Well, look, there's a guy, there's a guy, there's a guy. There's yeah, a, he's looking at me. He's calling me names. Yeah, you go. What? Right, right here. Come, they're all upstairs, I think. All the spots to place them are all up here. Like if you come up the other, that's it. You're coming towards me, aren't you? You come towards me, try and cover the. Top. Oh yeah, that's the thing. Okay. I'd probably wrap round to the right rather than go to the one nearest. Who's fucking? See, one of the problems with oh god, freaking COVID was one of the worst things ever because I saw so many adverts um, where it was like. Well, while you're off work, why not learn a new skill? Take this two-week course and, and whatever. Fuck off, game. You're okay, you're still alive. I know. Not for much longer. Oh, I'm sorry, that was me. Was that you shot me? Or pushed me out of cover? You're behind cover, so I should yeah. be yeah. yeah, I was going to say, even leave me for a second and kill him. Kill this Nazi prick! Oh, nice Russian dude, this. Deck. Shot in the hat. Is he wearing a fucking hat? What's he about? Oh shit, big shotgun fucker coming. You little fucking camping prick. I thought somebody was shooting me in my shoes. Ho hopefully, hopefully the union action will actually. Mm -hmm have some effect I don't yeah. expect it to just to, just to find my thoughts so yeah so I mean a bunch of people over COVID and shit like that they were doing these the borderline scams honestly it's, all, it's like two week qualified certificate in, in, in graphic design or like in film product or, or what have you you know creative shit like that and they do these things, and they're like, I'm, I'm never qualified graphic designer, and it's like, what are you fucking on? But all it does is, it sort of just 
muddied the waters a wee bit because folk that aren't qualified are applying for shit that they're not qualified for. Alright. But they're you know, they're taking up time right. last in, one. In the application process. Something that you would have had hundred people applying for now, you've got like three hundred all of a sudden and it's ah. like two hundred of them are just straight up it's just a waste of time, you're not qualified. Um but yeah, like the, whoever's doing the applications has to go through them, has to kind of like waste time, all that sort of thing. And some of them will have CVs that you know look legit. Some of them won't. Some of them will just look at it and just go, "Nah, I'll get out." But then other ones will have ones that, that look decent at first, but then it wastes time. And yeah, it it just I mean, all of a sudden you're getting taken less seriously because there's like way more applicants. Mm. But it's it's sort of artificial. In another six months, eight months, it will die down because they're not actually qualified for these positions. Okay, I'll come up the stairs and kind of scope it out. Did yeah, yeah, a yeah, fucking yeah. course during lockdown? I go, they, go right. That's uh, a good one. I was seeing stuff like oh, for, for become a qualified like uh, video game, you know, like sort of designer in four weeks, and I'm like. What, what does that entail and it was like coding and all this shit and I'm like you cannot learn how to code a video game in fucking four weeks you just can't coding is complicated coding's hard and the problem with a lot of these courses is it's like guaranteed success you know what I mean it's not like if you if you're making the check out directly to the teacher of the course yeah so it's it's just like it's a pass thing it's like oh did you, did you pay me and then you pass pay to play yeah and it's and it's just fucking like I said it's just irritating it just muddies the waters for like when you're applying for certain things there they are Americans. Nice. You got a shotgun now? Ah, I picked it up off one of the guys. Oh, where are you going, Rusky? They're really nice, the shorties, you should know. See, I prefer the sniper. Is it, is it not one or t'other? Or is it more your main weapon? No, 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 this is, I, I picked it up off the, off the shotgun guy. Oh, yeah. When oh, you kill him, he oh, drops so, it. Aye, so just kind of carry it. Where oh, is he? Oh, he's down oh, there. Oh, he <laughs> fucking died. Well, he, he kind of like was like dust the down. He was kind of like see you later. Honestly, see when they're fucking like dying. Oh shit! No, 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 no! Do not go through. Oh, the fucking grenade launchers as well. I think I got them. No. Shit! It's fucking pockets. Oh, yeah, Bitch, no man. shit. He fucking Brezhnev fucking ran into it. Take no responsibility for Brezhnev. He fucking straight up was like, "The later Americans." He's got a pick, oh man. We have to split this chapter. Look, this is way too fucking long. Yeah. Got nothing to do with Aspen Shite. No, I don't think so. Does everything to do with Brezhnev? Oh, fucking fuck fucking Brezhnev was like. Mate, where's the fucking. What are you doing? What are you doing this time, Brezhnev? Just fucking sitting there. Right, we're going. We're going down the stair. We'll last scope it out ahead of you so you don't just fucking die. I think so. I think I shall. Then I can get people to show you to the body. I fucking knew that was going to happen. Get me Brezhnev. Save me. Come on Brezhnev. Come on Brezhnev. Thank you. Appreciate it. Right, this time we'll work together, eh? Right? There'll be none of that cowboy shit. Fucking reload. He's hiding his wee fucking pockets, little prick. Whoa! What, 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 what? Actually, I am. I'm gonna have it using that pop up of this There he goes. 
Yeah, you're welcome. Seeing that numbers game, where are we going? I think Brezhnev's going to open the door for us. Nash and Fred, on and out it, doing a leg. <laughs> That's quite a good joke. You want to have heard it? It's what's brown and sticky. Or stick. That's funny. Yeah, the joke was shit. The joke was shit. Grenade! What the fuck just. Was that a grenadier? No, I shot a grenade. In mid air or something. No, 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 I'm, I've got, I picked up his grenade launcher. Oh, sweet. Well, you must have hit us then, because the fucking we both just exploded. Who's fucking still alive? Where are you? I think you rolled in front of our sniper. I think I knew that, I'm sorry. Oh, oh shit. Got that guy right in the crotch and didn't die. Oh shit, who's, who's shooting me? Something right there. Not bottom of the stairs. It's fucking dead now. But is he though? I think he's dead. He's an RPG, why not? Where's Bresnia going? Oh, there's a grunt. I said grab grunt. What we've got? Fuck it. Okay, Americans. It was fun, but now you must give me some flag stuff. Oh, no. Not having that. We're not allowing that. No. No, I have no reason. Yeah. It's none of your business. Go now, before I stop liking you. No, I, I, I have no reason to tolerate this. I don't know if we can do that. Yeah, I know for a fact I'm not going to allow it. The thing is, though, we could also... All of a sudden, you are men of conscience? Shame. Let me help you a bit. I give you cash to walk away. No. Plenty of money, like. But, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't need a bribe. Yeah, a solid gold gun, you think I need money? Exactly, yeah, exactly. I got two so. Oh, did he shoot you? Yeah, I mean, I was gonna say, like, we could, we could also stop him, but not murder him. Oh, here we go. In Brezhnev's ch children. Mad hoops, get hoops. She goes on to become world's like greatest killer. That's to be fair, we took his main arm off and there's nothing to stop him having a side arm. Sylvie. What? So is she a defector? Oh, oh, oh did told. she go and kill his wife and Kyle Brezhnev? <laughs> oh, killed his baby? Fuck what? Sake. God's sake. Oh no, Brezhnev saved the baby? I, I'm so confused now. So did Brezhnev survive anyway? Fucking hell. Found me cats. Ah oh, shit, I should have upgraded my website. Oh well.